Welcome back to the Misadventures of Jason, Winter Edition. Today I am smoking some Peterson's Elizabethan in my 7LE Series 3 unfinished pipe. As you can see, it has uh, colored up very nicely. It's a cool Canadian style. It's been really cold lately. Still got a bit of snow on the ground. It's melting nicely though. And uh, as a result, I have not had a chance to smoke much. Also, this house that we are in is under contract. So we, uh, we were successful in selling it. And it will be uh, sold in one week. So, again, that's another reason why I haven't been on lately. Um, as you can see, we've been doing a bunch of packing, getting, uh, trying to get stuff ready to go. Still got a lot to do here in the garage. We are under contract on another house. Um, however, there's been a hiccup in it, and so we are praying for it to, uh, to not fall through. The plan is to move in about two weeks, so we'll rent this house back for a week. But, uh, anyways, um, mentioned I'm smoking Elizabethan. So, I have been, sorry for this camera action here, I'm trying to get, set the, uh, set the thing up in a good spot. So I'm smoking Elizabethan, which, um, as some of you may know, is a Virginia Preak blend. It's a vapor. And um, I really do enjoy vapors. However, with it being as cold as it's been lately, I've been smoking a lot more Englishes. Um, what's the advantage to smoking in English when it's cold outside? Number one advantage to me is that when it's cold outside... I tend to smoke really fast, and so I get the tobacco heated up <clears throat> way more than I should probably. And if I were smoking Virginias, aromatics, um, blends like that in the cold, I would burn the heck out of my tongue with the or with the um, with the English blends. I can smoke those things. I can just chug on them like a freight train and uh, no tongue bite whatsoever so that's why I wind up smoking a lot more of the English blends uh, during the winter time so recently finished up um, a tin of Chelsea Morning which is a fantastic blend love it with coffee um, and it's a fantastic very very um, well balanced English blend also just finished up Presbyterian. If you haven't gotten any Presbyterian, I highly, highly recommend you get some because it's a very, very, very mild English. Um, you can smell the lot of Kia in it, but you can't taste it. So it's just a good Oriental, burly, um, Virginia and, and lot of Kia blend. But like I said, you can't barely taste the, uh, the lot of Kia. So it's a really well done blend. And that's Presbyterian. Good, good stuff. Uh, so recently finished those two blends up. And then uh, I had made a blend of my own that was that I was working through. But then I had to start packing up my tobacco cellar So in my rotation. And so I've got all my tobaccos in boxes now. Like four, five, six boxes, something like that. And I actually did take some footage of my tobacco cellar. And so I'll uh, I'll get that posted up one of these days. And um, But because of boxing up all my tobaccos, I kept six blends out. Um, blends that I just honestly really don't taste that often. Don't have them very often for whatever reason. But the blends are all different style blends. Which, if you're like me, I have a constantly rotating taste 
right? I always want to try something different. So I packed up all the other stuff and I kept out six blends. So the blends I kept out were Haunted Bookshop, which is a burly blend. Elizabethan, which is a vapor. I kept out Kramer's Father Dempsey, which is a English blend. I guess it's like an English Balkan blend, but um, I smoked it, a couple bowls of it the other day. And it really is, it's an English blend. Um, good, strong, a lot of Kia notes, but not overpowering. Uh, you know, and, and quite, quite nice. I also kept out Lancer Slices by F&K, uh, which is a Dark Fire Kentucky blend. I'm not sure what else is in it, um, but it definitely has notes of Dark Fire Kentucky, and I really enjoy Dark Fire Kentucky. I've recently finished a couple blends that had a decent amount of Dark Fire Kentucky, and so I like to keep, keep a blend out. I thought about keeping out the New Minster Superior Rounds because that's a fantastic blend, of dark fire kentucky but because i smoke on that a lot and i've got quite a bit of it i was like yeah you know what i'll try something different so i've i'd only had a couple bowls of lancer slices so i got that going and then i've got uh sam goweth 1792 which kind of serves as a virginia type flake although almost it's almost uh an aromatic because of the tonkin tonkin bean uh topping that has on it and it's got a bit of the perfume essence uh the lakeland essence uh so i don't even know what you would even really classify it as because it, it really is a completely unique blend uh to its own and so i kept a kept a jar of that out and then I did keep out a uh, an aromatic blend as well, because um, every once in a while I feel like having an aromatic. For all you people out there that uh, like to hate on aromatics, that's fine, but um, I found that I enjoy all types of tobacco, so... Sometimes the mood just hits me and I want to have an aromatic, so I'll have an aromatic. Uh, the aromatic I kept out, uh, last time I smoked it, which was a few days ago, I actually didn't enjoy it, believe it or not. Um, because, and this is a major number one complaint about aromatics, you actually just don't get a lot of flavor. Uh, so they may smell great, but it doesn't have a lot of flavor. The aromatic I kept out is actually a dump jar of other aromatics and virginias that I throw into it so um, the last couple of, of dregs that I threw into it changed it apparently and it didn't have that good caramel chocolate vanilla flavor profile that um, it had before so uh, we'll see I might throw some more dregs in it and see if I can bring it back to something or other but so it's just a dump jar but uh, I figure that's good to have out uh, in case I want to smoke something. Somebody else that's with me wants to smoke something that's different. Um, you know, there's good quality tobacco in it, but uh, just the, the flavor profile is a little wonky right now. So, eh, you know, it is what it is. So, um, yeah, that's kind of it in a nutshell. Obviously been very, very busy lately. Um, Still working my, my job, and then packing and, and doing all that stuff. Um, we did have a vote in the family on the, uh, the name of my hand-carved pipe. And it's a split vote between two different names. And I am the tiebreaker, and I haven't didn't even, didn't even given a thought yet, so... Um, my apologies for dragging it on and, and making you guys all wait. We'll get there and I will be sending out, um, I will be sending out that, that winning name or I'll, I'll be selecting a winning name and sending out the, uh, the, the prize for it. 
And I might also uh, send out the prize to the runner-up because they're both really good names. Um, honestly, a lot of the names that were submitted on that god were really good names. Um, there were a couple not so good, <laughs> but that, that happens. Uh, so I am looking forward to getting that off my plate. Um, but again, the tin of tobacco for the for the gaw is packed. So I'm really honestly not going to do the gaw um, award till after we get moved in and settled in a little bit. So probably another month before I release that. And like I said, I'll probably have the runner up get a prize also. So anyways, I appreciate all your patience. Uh, life carries on regardless of whether we're a, a YouTube presenter or not. Sometimes God just kind of set the YouTube aside for, for a little bit so that we can actually deal with the, the, the curveballs that life is throwing at you. But I've got lots of ideas. I've got content recorded. I just haven't gotten it posted. My computer's been on the fritz. So there's lots of excuses I'll give. But, but realistically, I just appreciate you guys' patience. And uh, just just uh, keep hanging out with me because uh, we'll get more more footage out there, get more more interesting content out there to all of you. Um, and, uh, again, I just appreciate all you guys and gals and uh, and all your comments and appreciate your subscriptions. So happy smokes, folks. <laughs>